Hi there. Welcome to your new Spire system. In this video, we will show you how to manage your stock and inventory page in the system. Let's start. Go to your sidebar menu and click the stock icon to open up your inventory page. On the top of your page you see three options available, add purchasing order, add to warehouse and your stock count. Underneath your purchasing orders awaiting on delivery list and on the right overviews on your stock availability and your notifications on advised parts purchasing, giving you a clear overview and status of your entire inventory. Let's have a closer look at your add purchasing order option. This option will allow you, in the owner or manager role, to place an order for the parts needed to manufacture a product. When you click on it, it will open a new screen. Here you can select the supplier from the drop-down or create a new one. When choosing a supplier from the system, it will automatically show the info about the supplier that is already in the system and the order ID of the last purchased order. If there are no previous orders, this will stay blank. Underneath this, you can leave a comment or note if needed. In case the supplier is not yet added to the system, you have the option to create a new supplier right above. When selected, it will redirect you to your Add Supplier page where you can add your new supplier's details. Once you've selected your supplier, we can continue to the item or part that you'd like to order from your supplier. Simply select the needed part from your drop-down list. You'll notice that once you select the part, the system automatically fills out all the details, such as internal ID, supplier code, and the quantity left in stock. Manually insert the order quantity, and the system will show the total price of the order right away. In case the item or part is not yet added to your system, you have the option to create a new part. Click on Create Part and you'll be redirected to the Add Part page. If you need to add more parts to the order later on, click on the subtle add on the right that allows you to add another field to select a new quantity of parts or items. Click on Add button to add the purchasing order to your system. A pop-up will appear which shows the purchase order ID and the question if you'd like to add more orders. Once you click Add, you will be directed back to the blank page to create further orders. If you click on No, the order will proceed and appear on your list of purchasing orders awaiting delivery on your inventory page. To download the order in docs format, press the icon at the end of a row. Now let's continue to your next option, the Add to Warehouse. This functionality is here to organize your purchasing orders awaiting delivery to a warehouse. This will be done once you've received an order from a supplier and the parts of the order need to be registered to a warehouse. Click on Add to Warehouse and a new page will open up. On the right-hand side of the page, you'll see the full list of purchasing orders awaiting delivery. On the left, it shows the warehouse card. This warehouse card is where you can place the orders that can be moved to the warehouse. To move the orders, simply drag and drop the orders from right to left into the warehouse card. Once placed in the card, it will show you all the details such as order ID, name of the item or part, the quantity of the order and your stock level. If, at this moment anything else needs to be added to this order ID, you can easily do so here. Fulfill a new line with the parts and its quantity and confirm by clicking on Add. Before you finalize the move to your warehouse you have the option to add a comment, an emoji or an attachment in the comment section for final instructions to your warehouse employees. Once you're done, click on the Add button. If you don't want to proceed, simply click the Cancel button. After you've successfully added the order, the purchase order will disappear from your main list. The third option on your inventory page is the stock count. With this option you will be able to manage all your parts in stock. When clicked on it, a new screen will open up. On this screen, you'll have the option to select a specific part from the drop-down list available in stock. By selecting a part the system will automatically show you their ID number, the amount there is in stock, and the minimum and maximum there needs to be in stock. If needed, the stock level can be manually adjusted with the minus and plus signs. And a comment can be added. Now, your inventory page gives you plenty of possibilities to manage your inventory. And a quick overview of things can help with that. 
And for this, you can make use of the two blocks on the right-hand side of your page, the total stock available and the advised part purchasing block. The first block shows you the level of quantity in stock of the parts available in your system and the number of part expected to be delivered due to the data in purchasing orders. Below that, you can see the advised part purchasing block. In the advised part purchasing block, you can see the parts and the purchase quantity that needs to be ordered. In case you face problems with your inventory page or the system, please contact Spire Technical Support. We are always here to help. Stay with us to learn more.